Good morning, I'm in the middle of a snowstorm here and tonight is forecasted to be about negative 20 degrees Celsius so I thought I'd make a video about uh, one of my coldest nights yet in the van. Uh, last night I used the heater quite a bit and I burned through about 20 amp hour on the battery there. It's a 100 amp hour battery and uh, there's some false information going around about lithium batteries that you can uh, discharge them 100%. You can do that, there's nothing stopping you but uh, it's not recommended to go beyond 80% uh, because uh, you could damage the battery. Today I'm going to start out with uh, some coffee beans from Bolivia. This comes from the Yungus region. Maybe they were transported across the death road. But uh, this is from a local coffee roaster called Analog. not really a foodie I can't uh, decipher all the subtle tastes but that is definitely some good coffee as a Canadian I'm supposed to be sitting here telling you that Tim Hortons is the best coffee ever but I can't stomach that stuff well I turned the uh, heater off about an hour ago I had the uh, battery temperature there up to 30 degrees Celsius it's already dropped to 8 so I'm gonna have a tough time this winter uh, trying to keep the battery above freezing all the time Looks like the sun's coming out, that's good. Even if it's like negative 10 or 15 degrees Celsius out, the sun alone will keep it above freezing in here and actually nice and comfortable. But another good thing about running the diesel heater at night is that it keeps the front windows all clear of uh, condensation and frost. So uh, in the morning I don't have to scrape off the inside of my windows too. But also it's a dead giveaway that you're sleeping inside your car if your windows are all fogged up. It's probably something I should do eventually is uh, make some insulated window covers and that would probably increase the efficiency of my heater a lot but I think I'm gonna head over to the truck stop now and have a shower get cleaned up I don't know if you guys noticed but I'm wearing the same clothes as my last video a true minimalist only needs one set of clothing all right it's two o'clock now you can see this light flashing that means my battery's all topped up I got 10 amp hour out of the solar and uh, 10 out of my DC to DC charger that's just from driving over to the truck stop for a shower and now I'm over at the library and I saw somebody crash on the way over here. I don't know how he managed to lose control on a straight flat road and he took out a pickup truck with him. I'm lucky it wasn't me. But uh, now that my battery's all topped up, I zeroed this out again so I can keep track of where my battery's at. And I just put another $6 worth of diesel in my tank. Uh, I've already spent $21 this month on uh, diesel alone. I'm thinking I could spend as much as 60 bucks this month, but uh, still, if you think about it, 2 bucks a day isn't that bad. Uh, last month in October, I spent a grand total of uh, $28. I decided to remove the front wood panel that was holding the battery in place and uh, I put some lifters underneath it so it's not sitting right on the ice cold floor. If I destroy this battery I'm in some serious trouble. turned out really good. Tikka masala stew. <laughs> oh man that was good. I could probably eat that whole pot right now. But uh, it's starting to get hot in here. I gotta go fetch my dessert. Well, 
Well, it's 1030 now and it's negative 18 outside. I'm sorry about the ticking noise. There's not much I can do about it. I actually saw that S-Bar makes a silent fuel pump. I don't know if it'd be compatible with my system or not, but uh, that'd be a good upgrade. Back when the temperature was around uh, zero degrees, the five kilowatt heater was almost too overpowered for that. It heated up in here really fast. But uh, at this temperature, it started to balance out. I won't say that it's met its match yet. I'll have to uh, wait and see how it performs at negative 30 if that day ever comes. But uh, I'll definitely have to get those front windows insulated for that. Well, that's the first time that I've ever run my diesel heater nonstop all night. I had it on the higher settings up until about 11 o'clock when I went to bed. Then I dropped it down to the lowest setting and just let it chug away all night. That was almost enough to keep the temperature level in here, but it just slowly started getting colder. And by about 3.30 a.m., I decided to crank it up for an hour to warm it up in here. But it looks like I used my regular uh, 20 amp hour last night. And I'm going to take a quick peek outside and see how much fuel I went through. So it looks like I went through two and a half liters last night. That's more than I expected, but uh, I ran it for nearly 15 hours straight. So yeah, it adds up. Well, thanks for watching and thanks to everyone on Patreon for your support. And I will see you in the next video.